Redder 2 here. Having looked at the uh, gear wheel at the end here, which was locked on the shaft, and managing to pull it off, I put the whole thing back together and it didn't work, of course. So I have to have a look at the electronics, or electrics really, not much electronics in it, more electrics, I think. So where to start? Well, let's start at the input, the mains in. So what we have is the mains coming in, coming onto this circuit board here, which has on it a capacitor, a mains capacitor, an X2 capacitor, 275 volts and a 0.1k, whatever that means. And that seems to be across the inputs, the power. So presumably that's always going to, as long as this is plugged in, that's going to be having power across it. Hmm, interesting. Then we have a couple of inductors. They then, all the current comes in, through the inductor and then out the other side. These are both 0 0.8 millihenries, millihenry inductors. So that's how the power comes in, but the live, if I can find it, where are you? There you are. The live here goes across to this switch here which faces downwards and is only connected when the shredder unit is on top of the collection box. So if it isn't on the collection box, the live just goes to there and no further. As soon as it's placed on the collection box, then that switch is made and the mains, nice blue wire for live. Mm -hmm comes out and into this board as well. So it won't, nothing gets to this board then unless the unit is on top of the collection box, where I imagine it would spend most of its time. So this capacitor must have something across it for most of the time. Hmm, that's interesting. If we look at the neutral then, the neutral actually goes off to this universal motor which has got four wires into it. Uh, it's got the black for neutral, it's got a red which I think should be the other side of the stator and then it's got its brown and blue which I think are to the commutator to the brushes or whatever they are. If we have a quick look at this little circuit then just to see how I think it works then it, neutral comes in goes off through its inductor straight to the uh, stator on the motor. The live only comes in if the unit is on top of its box, in which case it comes in. This capacitor here has got a drop-in resistor here so that it will discharge and idiots like me won't get electric shocks when we start pulling the thing apart. It then has on the live as well, it has a note, uh, the 0.8 micro Henry inductor which then goes off to the micro, uh, to the three position, stop, run and reverse settings. This seems very complicated, over complicated. Well, perhaps not over complicated, but seems complicated so that the motor can be run in reverse. The whole thing then is controlled by this run start stop micro switch and if we look on the thing itself that run start stop micro switch is here it lifts up and goes down it's lifted up 
lifted up by a lever so that would normally be over the top to protect the rollers or to stop the paper going in the wrong place this then bobs on the top it has a little arm on at this end and that senses the paper so that goes in there that then can sense the paper here goes up and down up and down perhaps I ought to put something there you can see that and that's all that senses the paper at the other end it touches the micro switch here so as that end goes down this end goes up and energizes the micro switch that switches on the motor the motor turns and as the motor turns it turns the cam on here at a much reduced speed because it's got lots of gears on it but as soon as this is got to the right place it lifts it up and therefore it will keep running even after the paper has left this switch here so as soon as this switch where is it gone this switch here is released because the paper's got past this point it'll keep going and drag the paper all the way through due to this cam on the end here brilliant design really very clever that I think I like it so if we go back to our diagram again so we have our run switch here but the thing has also got to be able to go in reverse so we have the switch and if we want to look at how it works well let's put it on here uh, what we got we got uh, two poles two completely separate units these never connect together so one two three and four never connect to any of five six seven or eight we can think of it as being two bits of metal like so which if I can get rid of the light there then connect seven and eight and two and th three and four at the same time when it's in the middle it connects two and three six and seven but it doesn't connect anything else they're just connected to nothing so that's why it's off and at this end we have the run where it connects one and two and five and six are connected so that is in the run position if we look in the run position then it goes round through the start stop micro switch before it trots off to this brown wire that goes to one of the brushes on the rotor so this switch controls the whole thing perhaps we'd be better looking on a simpler diagram or I think it's simpler and this is more or less what I'm looking at so what's we got we got the neutral coming in it always goes to the stator it's got no option the stator then comes along and either goes to the brush the blue brush or to the brown brush so that's either or on the and that's what happens at this side and then at the other side the alternative one goes to let's see if we can do this if I put that on and then try drawing on it probably isn't going to work probably in poor pen so in one position that goes up there and this one comes down here so what we've got is the neutral comes into the stator through the stator to the blue brush through the commutator to the brown brush and then from the brown brush through the on off the micro switch so if this switch is off nothing happens in the run position however when this comes down then the live provided it's on its box the live then gets to into this brush through that 
through the commutator to the blue brush, then down through the neutral, through the stator, sorry, and out through the neutral. If we put it in the middle position, then it's like that. The neutral doesn't connect to anything. Live doesn't connect to anything. But if we put it in the reverse position, then hopefully this will work. Then the live comes up into the blue brush, which doesn't then isn't connected at this end. And the neutral comes in down to the brown brush which this switch then isn't connected, there's no connection at this end, so this just doesn't operate. So in reverse then, it operates all the time, provided it's on the box, on its collection box. So that essentially is how it works. It's, uh, I like it, I think it's a very clever sort of thing. Is there much else to say about that running? I don't think so. The only thing to say is, why wasn't it working? So, what I did was to take a look at the motor. And found that the blue and brown wires actually went to the commutator there was no problem there i also found this little gizmo i assume it's the thermal fuse whether it's self resetting or not i have no idea but anyway that was fastened on to this part of the stator here you can see the copper of the stator wrapped round one top and one bottom with a wire going from the top to the bottom and then red wire I don't know comes into the top and the black wire goes into the bottom so that the stator all appears to be one coil even though it's two separate ones when I started digging into it then I found that the red and black weren't connected I found that this uh, if it is a thermal fuse, was uh, perfectly okay, but red and black weren't connected. So I started looking, and I looked at this end. And when I looked at this end, I found what I think is quite a typical... don't know if you can see that sort of blowout in the coil. It looks like a big hole. There's probably been a little explosion on the inside as something shorted. And it's destroyed the coil. It's broken the coil. Several strands of the coil are broken. So that when I started delving in, uh, just gently lifting them out, I found that the coil was broken. So that's the end of that motor. Gone to the great motor home in the sky never to work again just one of those projects where you hope you can win but i find i lose so that's it then mm, an interesting sort of project to look at definitely learnt from it definitely learnt about these universal motors took a lot of finding on the internet but once I realised it was a universal then it was fairly easy to sort out what was going on oh it's such a pity to dump it I'll probably keep it for some unknown reason because I like keeping things but that's it it's dead but I've enjoyed pulling it apart Right then, bye now, bye.